No Windows 7 Chapter Overview After going through the chapter, you will be able to understand What is Operating System? Need of Operating System Different Components of Desktop Arranging Icons What is an Operating System? Only hardware of a computer such as keyboard, mouse, CPU cannot do anything alone. A computer needs software too. The most important software that a computer needs is operating system. The operating system OS is the first and most important program that runs on a computer. Every computer needs an operating system to run other programs and applications. Without operating system, a computer cannot even get started. An operating system is the manager of the computer. It performs basic tasks such as understanding input from the keyboard, installing other softwares, sending output to the display screen, arranging files and folders on the disk, controlling peripheral devices such as printers, mouse, keyboard, scanner, etc. Do you know? It is an operating system that brings life to a computer. An operating system ensures that all the hardware and software run properly. It acts as an interface between a user and a computer. There are many operating systems. Some popular operating systems are Windows XP, Mac OS, Windows 7, Linux. Among all of these, Windows 7 is very popular because of its user-friendly nature. Why is Windows 7 popular? It is easy to use. One can use different programs at the same time. It has icons carrying small pictures. These icons have different documents which can be opened by clicking the icon. Windows 7 remembers all the text-based commands of a computer. Discussion time! Discuss with other students about operating system installed in their personal laptops, desktops and school's computers. What is a desktop? After downloading the Windows 7, the desktop appears. It has many items like icons, Start button, taskbar, wallpaper, gadgets, etc. Icons Icons are the small pictures on desktop that represent a program. We can also say that icons are the shortcut to any program. When you double click or open an icon, the associated file or program is opened. My computer, my network places, my documents and recycle bin are standard icons commonly seen on a desktop. My documents. It is the default storage folder of your files that you can create. When you save a file, it directly goes to my documents folder. My computer. This icon displays information about your computer such as the contents of your computer drives and the CD, DVD or USB drive. Recycle Bin It is like the dustbin of your computer. This is where you place files you no longer need. Any file that you delete from your computer firstly goes to recycle bin. Arranging icons on the desktop. Occasionally, you may want to tidy the desktop up. You can arrange the desktop icons 
by dragging and dropping them. The different options for arranging icons are by name, size and type and when last modified. To access these options, click right mouse button at a blank space anywhere on the desktop. When the shortcut menu appears, select Sort by. Select your preference. Wow fact! You can give 3D effect to your desktop by holding Windows key and pressing Tab key. If you select Auto Arrange from these options, icons will automatically line themselves up in columns at the left of your screen. Even if you drag one out and drop it, it will bounce back to the left of the desktop. Customizing the icon of any program or folder on desktop One way of customizing your icons on the desktop is to arrange the image or graphic used. To do this, click right button of the mouse on the icon, click on properties in the shortcut menu, select the change icon button, select the desired icon, click on OK, click on OK again to close the property dialog box. Let's know more. Click and hold down the control key and then use your scroll wheel on your mouse to resize the icons. Task Bar The task bar is the thin strip that runs across the bottom of your screen. It is split into a number of different areas, a round start button, quick launch icons, a notification area and a clock. The image below shows where the different areas are of taskbar. The start button helps you to find and open various windows and programs. The quick launch bar gives single click access to the programs that you use often. The notification area displays some common program icons such as sound, power option, network connection, antivirus program, etc. Do you know? When you insert any pen drive, it is first notified on notification area. The notification area displays a message after a new hardware is installed. Move the taskbar. You can move the taskbar around the four sides of your desktop as follows. Right click an empty area on the taskbar and uncheck lock the taskbar. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it to any of the four sides of your desktop. Desktop background. It is the picture or pattern you see on the main screen after your computer goes booted up. In simple words, the background picture or color on the desktop is known as wallpaper. Change desktop background. Right click a blank part of the desktop and choose personalize. Click the desktop background option. Try different backgrounds by clicking them or click the browse button to see pictures from different folders. Click any of the pictures and Windows 7 quickly places it onto your desktop's background. You can also click the browse button to select a personalized file. Click Save Changes and exit the Desktop Background window when you are satisfied with your choice.